Did you know that last month, the month of November, was Men's Mental Health Month? So, I'm going to be honest with you. See, my voice broke. Today's video is just going to be uncut, very simple, very plain. I'm not doing any funny jokes and stuff because this is a more serious topic. So, yeah. This also has very little to do with cars besides me sitting in one. So if you want to skip this video, I completely understand. Just with everything that I've gone through in my own personal life when I was a little bit younger, I, I like to touch on these topics and stuff, especially when there's one like, well, last month. I didn't know that last month was Men's Mental Health Month, otherwise I would have actually liked to have done a video sooner for it, but... So I'm not going to be here to talk about, like, the big hero story arc where, you know, triumph over really bad situations in life and rubbish and rubbish and rubbish. If you are watching this kind of video and you are suffering from those kind of demons, let's call them, I'm probably not the best person to be speaking to. Um, don't be afraid to speak to a therapist if you need to. There's no shame in that. Now, obviously, I'm speaking in terms of any gender, not necessarily just for men's, but it was this um, Men's Mental Health Month. It's very hard to say multiple times very quickly. It was just because of that that it got me thinking about it and that I decided that I wanted to make a video of it. Uh, actually, because I was feeling these pressures a few, a couple of days ago, I'm not actually sure when, uh, if it was earlier this week or earlier last week, but, yeah. Sometimes as a guy, for any of the other genders out there that are listening, sometimes as a guy, you can feel a lot of pressure that you got to live up to certain standards, uh, standards, can I please English, and also just be like not necessarily emotionless but very controlled in your emotions and you know you've got to be like a solid brick for everyone around you that you they can rely on you because you're in control if that makes sense sometimes that can be a lot of pressure anyway i don't want this video to be all too long i basically just want to make a few remarks and just say for those out there who are having a bad time um, it's okay. And you're allowed to have a bad time. You're allowed to not be okay. You're allowed to feel shit. It happens in life sometimes. As much as we wish it didn't. Again, I'm not going to be here to tell you, oh, everything's going to be okay and blah blah blah, because sometimes it's not okay. Sometimes it won't be okay. Sometimes you got to fight the demons, <laughs> again, whatever you want to call it in order to actually get where you need to be in life sometimes. And sometimes we really do struggle or can't even fight said demons. The trick in that scenario is to get help, which again is another thing that sometimes guys, men, whatever, uh, struggle with because we ourselves, for ourselves, want to be super strong and not need help. Sometimes we do. Whether that be some random friend that's going to pick us up and at least get us out of a little bit of a slump. Or sometimes we do need to speak to professionals in order to help. But yeah, it's okay to be sad, it's okay to be hurt, it's okay to feel emotions at times. And kind of just mellow in it for a little bit. The trick is to just remember, you know, okay, let me, if I... It's sometimes okay to feel shit, basically is what I'm saying. So sometimes if you want to dwell in it for a little bit and, you know, feel bad about whatever situation may be going on, the the trick to it is you can't let yourself drown in it. You're allowed to swim in it, but then you got to get out the pool at some at some point. It's a very difficult pool to get out of, I know, but I'm also not going to be here to talk about the shit that I went through, I went through shit, everyone's got their shit, that's also something that you should keep in mind, everybody's got shit, don't feel afraid to talk to people about your shit, because I can guarantee that they've got their own shit in their lives, and it may not be the same shit whatsoever, don't get me wrong, but they've got their shit in their lives, so, you know, 
at the end of the day, we all got our own shit. We're all trying to deal with it. If a lot of people tend to be quite understanding with that, and then we'll try help you because you're listening to what's happening in their lives. So they're going to try help you and listen to what's happening in your lives. And sometimes all it is that you need is just a little bit of a release to talk about it. So yeah, that's actually going to be it for today's video. Very short, little brief one, but I just wanted to put a little bit of positive words out there because someone might need to hear them. Um, I know when I was going through my crap, uh, I, I found a YouTuber at the time um, that was like living his best life and stuff. And you know what? He, in the one video, he revealed that he went through crap. You know, despite him owning multiple luxurious cars or dream cars of mine, um, he was talking about, you know, sometimes life happens, it gets you down and you get upset. Irrelevant if you've got crap loads of money or if you broke F. And he was just explaining how, you know, sometimes you can have a bad day. Sometimes shit happens. Shit is allowed to happen. And it was quite nice to watch somebody who... I was like at the time idolizing because of their amazing cars and the fact that they owned like my dream cars multiple. I don't know if a NA Miata is anyone's dream car, but I'm hoping I'm giving the same vibes to you that I got multiple years ago from them. It was just nice to see them humbled a little bit. Not necessarily that I want I want people to grow and be as empowered as they possibly can be, but in terms of like watching them be upset about stuff and realizing you know despite them on screen on camera seemingly living this perfect life there is a lot more happening behind the screens that they're just not sharing with you because they have their own personal lives that they don't need to share with you i don't need to share half of this crap but i do <laughs> i i share i try share a lot of my mistakes or a lot of the bad stuff that's happening i'm sorry if you can hear the plane above me i try to share a lot of my mistakes or bad stuff that's going on because I want people right from the beginning to understand not everything's perfect, irrelevant even if you're in a really good position and you have like a really nice car. Like I've said at multiple points during this video, shit happens and it's allowed to happen. You're allowed to feel sad, you're allowed to feel bad. Just remember to not stay in there for too long. You gotta pick yourself up and you gotta go go for a drive or play video games or something. Get your mind off it. Something that really helped me through my bad stuff, and now I'm not really, again, one to be giving advice, but this was something that my therapist said to me, so I'm hoping that this carries forward to other people, was try count a couple of good things per day, if you're in a, a, a bad position, or not, actually. Do it when you're also not in a bad position. Get into the habit of it, so when you do have a bad day, it helps. So, I mean, I won't even lie to you guys. When I first started that, obviously, in my very bad time, I couldn't think of anything. And then I started to think of, like, the most random bullshit, basically, to just have something there so that I could report back to my therapist. And, I mean, I was starting to come up with things like at least the meteor didn't hit the planet and kill everybody and to be honest with you it was those thoughts those like random ass things that started to get my mind out of the habit of just feeling bad and started to just look at like random stuff at least for just like a brief moment give my brain a little bit of a rest from feeling crap and it helped it did in the end because i stopped being focused on all the bad stuff because at least I had semi-trained my brain to try look for something better. Not saying that that will work for you, but it's something at least to try. And trying is at least better than not doing anything. Which I understand difficult to get yourself to do something at some point, but gotta try sometimes. Anyway, that is the end of the video. I'm not putting a in title screen with my big logo and stuff. I want this video to be a little bit more somber, if that's the correct term. A little bit more chill. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed the video nonetheless, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Uh, next one should be a pretty good one. So yeah, hope to see you guys then. Until then, guys. Cheers.